Shalom Israel. I just had a um, conversation last night about um, uncleanness with a uh, proclaimed Christian apologist, and um, and they're really struggling with um, clean and unclean foods. And um, this particular guy said he doesn't eat unclean foods just because he doesn't like it, but he feels like. You can't really tell anybody not to eat unclean because it's a personal choice, um, especially when you look at Romans 14. But um, as we went into Romans 14, it's basically about um, fasting and feast days. But um, and he was like any other uh, reference about eating unclean is not in, in the New Testament. So that's not true. Especially when you look at Galatians 5 and 19. And um, you see right here. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these. Adultery. Fornication. Uncleanness. Uh, lavicious, lasciviousness. So. Let's key in on the word uncleanness. Uncleanness is basically. The Greek word. Strong's G-167, Akatharsia, Akatharsia. All right, so it's Akatharsia. And then that same word can actually be found in the, um, in the New Testament. So, you know, you see how the um, biblical um, outline usage is um, physical and moral. But what is the physical uncleanness? So, when you look up the dictionary in the Bible, uncleanness is basically the nis, the suffix is make, basically making it as the state of unclean. So, now when you have uncleanness, that is basically not telling you which part of uncleanness. So, now you got to think any manner, any manner of uncleanness. So, when you look down at the word, the adjective, you see morally impure, vow evil and vile unclean thoughts but when you look down at the third definition what does it say chiefly biblical having a physical or moral blemish as to make impure according to the laws especially the dietary or ceremonial laws so as 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 i just told you uncleanness is any manner of uncleanness whether it's moral ceremonial dietary it's the matter of uncleanness and the state of unclean. So that's any man manner of uncleanness. So when you look at the um, root, it's Strong's G one sixty nine, Akarthatas. Akarthatas. And when you look at it, what does it say? Ceremonial sense, according to uh, 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 ceremonial sense that mu that which must be abstained from according to the Levitical law and in moral sense unclean so it is it, so clear right there and, and you see that um is how, how he just said it now let's go to Leviticus let's go to Leviticus and see the same thing Leviticus 11. Unclean. Let's see. Unclean. Now you got to look up the Greek. You see it right there at the bottom. I can't really highlight it, but you get the point. In fact, I will highlight it. It's the same word right there. There you have it. Unclean. So when any Christian apologist tells you that unclean is not in the New Testament, you can tell them they lost their damn mind. And on that note, G-Checker signing out, and I want to say shalom.